Hello YouTube and welcome to the start of a brand new Let's Play for Civilization 6. I'm the Game Mechanic and you may have missed me. It's been a little quiet around here, but uh, it's good to be back. Uh, hopefully back on the regs as far as YouTube uploads and things. We are playing the brand new Barbarians mode in addition to Heroes and Legends and Secret Societies. We're playing the new-ish Civ Vietnam uh, with hopefully a, uh, a, a an effort to go and use her unique unit. I love the unique elephants in this game. They're very fun, uh, mostly because they're elephants. Uh, but hers is particularly relevant, and uh, and we'll we'll take advantage of drive drive out the ag aggressors, her unique encampment, and the Void Chen. Uh, certainly, nine Dragon River Delta will get us some extra uh, yields and stuff, and frankly, dictate our districting. Uh, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. First off, we have a very 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 good start here. We have a bunch of two two three tiles all around. Four Cocos. Unfortunately, we we decided to not uh, play with the the Monopoly mode, so uh, unfortunately, we won't be getting a Monopoly on these. Um, we'll, we'll return and play with that more in the future, but I really like the settle in place. We do have an extra movement because we've spawned on rainforest here, and that's part of our Vietnam Vietnamese ability. Um, and, and we debated here for a while of what the settle is. And I really like, I really like the turn one settle in place. We start with two, two tiles. We have a two, two base, and then we have one, two, three, four amazing tile expands. Uh, the one thing we're lacking is a farmable resource in order to get these plantations online. We can always hard tech it if need be, but you know, probably our second city will be able to get something before we definitively settle. We should go ahead and, uh, and move our warrior. Um, I think I'm okay with this move under the woods. Holy diamonds, Lucy is in the sky. Uh, this is all fairly flat over there, but seems pretty good. I should save the seed. Uh, oh man, I'll I'll just I'll say you, you guys will have to. I'm I'm I share that I'm gonna share this in the Discord later, uh, which is why we are doing that. Um, but you'll just have to deal with the fact that the warriors already moved. Sorry, friends, but yeah, I I don't nothing really nothing here really changes my mind. About where to settle. So we get a 2-2 base because we're on a plains hill. The, the rainforest does go away on our city center, but won't on our future districts. Uh, we'll go ahead and start with a scout here. We've got a 2-2 tile and a 2 and a 2-2 base. Uh, and then again, like eight turns, and we'll start to pick up the extra gold and things like that, which will be quite, quite nice. Uh, yo, Zebra, Ziri, and uh, Complex Perplex. Uh, welcome in. Thank you for the follows, friends. Appreciate it. Thanks for joining up. Um, we do want to go military focused, right? So I guess I guess the question here is mining first versus maybe getting the plantations or a science district going. Um, her her unique unit is the typical uh, is typical spot for crossbows. So a, an early campus does have some value with getting us to that pretty quickly, uh, but also may not be entirely necessary. We should probably be able to beeline a lot of. Uh, a lot of this 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 stuff down here in the bottom half. So I think starting with mining is good. It'll give our builder something to do, assuming we expand to the diamonds. Cool. So not really able to utilize the extra movement on our warrior. I'm still a pretty big fan of moving onto hills whenever possible. That is obviously a pretty big bust, but so be it. Say it's, uh, it's a plus four campus here. Something to keep in mind. Oops. Yep, somebody somebody west down here, true. Yep, I, I hadn't seen that. Certainly a city state or something. It's interesting. Certainly interesting. Awkward movement. That's all right. And there they are. Who you? Granada. <laughs> Talking about Nerf Goddess, of course. Uh, the latest patch has dropped and Earth Goddess has been nerfed. Uh, I'm sure some of you are happy about that because I will certainly be taking it less often, although it's still a viable pantheon. Uh, Granada synergizes well with Appeal. Uh, it's not really the game that we're going to be trying to play here. And frankly, uh, they've spawned in a fairly low Appeal spot here. We do have a, a they're under a volcano, which is a thing. Um, oh, we have a double movement available here. So keep it, keep. Keep an eye on this, and that'll help you uh, utilize your extra movement. So we can move through, finish there. I suppose I maybe should have finished there. I don't know. 
I don't know. Oh, and we're back on Secret Societies mode. So that does net us an Envoy. Do I want to take a quick suzerain of Granada? It is, uh, it's valuable. It'll start to, to generate us Diplo favor. It'll give us a lot of exploration. They will grab two tiles. Um, and so that's a small concern, assuming we want a second city anywhere near them. The other option is just to grab Pingala and get Pingala going right here in the cap so that we can get to our crossbows a little bit faster. What is your quest? State workforce. Yes, Ziri, I tend to I tend to try. Uh to some people's dismay. I I, I, I do try to explain my thought process and uh uh, that, that causes our games to maybe go a little bit slower than some people would like, which which is a gripe for some. But uh, hopefully it, it speaks to you. And, uh, yeah. I think I want the suzerain. The, the reason I don't want to go Pingala here is we don't have an incredible food tile as of yet. Um, and so the once we get to the extra culture and science for population, it's not going to look outstanding uh, in the beginning. Magnus for settlers not hurting pop. I'm generally not concerned about that in most games. I think I want the suzerain. So let's take Amani. Uh, and Ziri, if, if you're interested in games like this, I have a YouTube that is full of uh, Let's Plays and playthroughs and stuff. They're, 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 they're ripped from the VOD, so, you know, they are what they are. So a lot of times I would go here as moving onto hills is good, for, uh, is good for vision and things like that. However, because we want to start our turn in, um, in, in woods, rainforest, or marsh, I think it's actually better to go here even though it's flatland. Another city-state down yonder? Thought TGM was too good, man. No, it's just the game mechanic. Just my moniker. All right, so next time we get our scout. Let's meet whoever this is. Ooh. Would I rather Amani go here? We can do Amani World Tour. Grab Granada real quick and then send her right down. There's a farm, yeah, technically speaking, and, and here too, yeah, there are a couple. Not not an outstanding place to settle, it looks like, though, overall. Where do we think we're at on the map? We're like equatorial, basically, with all this jungle and such. So we can we can kind of freely go north or south. I think we'll go north. And pray for the best. Uh, let's go for a second scout. It's my preferred opener. Uh, we do get a little extra science in the cap thanks to this uh, first meet. We're happy about that. Happy about that. Oh, I love this music too. 10 out of 10 for soundtracks. So this is Coast, yeah? I guess I just want to cross the, 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 the river then. Hey, Ken. I don't ping my map to know where I'm situated. I find that to be fairly cheesy. You can, you can pin and, and do the thing, but I, I find that to be fairly cheesy. And I don't feel like I need that, uh, that leg up. We can just play it normal. Back. Boston, thank you so much for the 43 months. Holy cow. Thank you so much for that ongoing sub. I appreciate the long time support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so no double move available. This looks like mountains, so uh, this is our best bet. Okay. I have another. This is a, another plus four campus. Ideally, we want to build our districts around um, around our encampment, but I'm not going to build bad districts around the encampment to enable the culture from encampments when I can just have really good districts on their own. Uh, that being said, we could maybe put an encampment there. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Do we have a pantheon in mind? I mean, culture from plantations is looking pretty good. If settlers there, that's certainly uh, one of the best. 
if not the best. Fubu, thank you for the 29 months. That's a long time, too. Thank you very, very much. Thank you for the value for value, friend. Hey, man. Glad to see y'all. Best value for value on the internet. I appreciate it very much, Fubu. Thank you for the ongoing support. Thank you for the kind words as well. Very interesting. I, I feel a little stifled, but not too bad. Okay, now I feel more stifled. We've got coast over here. We've got coast down here. So I suppose this next scout is just going to go due east, and we hope we find people that we can kill with our uh, elephants. My man. Seems okay. Uh, Simon Sound Studio, thanks for the uh, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Good good campus where our scout is. Uh, same as this campus. It's it's just another plus four, right? One, two, three, and then two rainforest equals plus four. It, it's just a matter of would you like culture in your science buildings or would you like more science in your science buildings? Carl, what's up, buddy? How you doing, dude? Happy Friday. Do you, are, are you are you always like relieved at the end of a, a, a release week at like Friday? Is it like a tough one to get through or is it like more excitement or I don't know. How you feeling today, buddy? I feel like you've had an, a, a busy week as a barbarian, as, as a game dev. I mean, geez. Anansi. Hi, Anansi. So we can remove bonus and luxury resources. This is this is interesting and might matter, might matter a fair bit for our uh, districting here. Like a couple of these could maybe get removed. Wow, triple diamonds too, <laughs> and a spot for pyramids. We technically have a spot for pyramids. It's such a good wonder. I don't have a quarry though. Yeah, fair, fair enough, Carl. Fair enough. Well, happy Friday to you, friend. I, I, I hope that you're, uh, you've got an awesome weekend in store, something relaxing and good. Um, hmm. So this, that we got this extra, we got this Eureka and this extra vision from our suzerain of Gr Granada. Granada grabbed tobacco and diamonds. Tobacco being on this, uh, on our second continent here. So kind of interesting. Um. Gave up this diamonds tile for sure. We could take them over if need be. Do I want to move? I, I think I do want to move Amani now here. I have Themis. Yes, I, I have many hours into Valheim already, and uh, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. I'm enjoying it quite a bit. I need to get this somehow. Guess this is the way to go. And then I'm going to take you down yonder. So we get two error score for giving them a uh, Suze. Got Mulan and Anansi. We do want to do military stuff ideally. So we should consider that for our heroes as well. Not a great double move here. Again, because I want to start my turn in Rainforest, I think we're going there and stopping. We have Hattusa and it's not a first meet. Not a first meet. Interesting. So certainly a neighbor to our north. Doesn't look like it's going to be super easy. Do I want to create a community server on Valheim? Uh, I'm I'm really enjoying it on my own. Um, you can play up to 10 player co-op. Uh, probably once I finish the game, I'm open to doing community based stuff, but I'm really enjoying like I like I have a weird thing with RPGs where it's like it's so like personal and like magical like i enjoy them so much that i that i like that's part of the reason why i don't really like streaming stuff like that um and and i don't think i'd want to jump right into a community focus uh but perhaps in the future themis all right so we've expanded to the diamonds and like especially the valheim experience because it's so unique and magical like i just i, I like to just immerse in it and take my time and not feel like i'm you know, obligated to, to, to do anything or entertain or, or whatever. All right. When you find yourself in so we'll, we'll let our warrior pick this up. There's no point in sending a scout all the way over here for just the one. We, we teched mining now. 
All right, so let's do the uh, let's let's do the the uh, pick up pick up this goodie hut trick. Uh, we we have an extra movement, which is which is certainly nice and going to allow us to do this. But you you might look at this and go, you stinking warrior! You're you're sitting on my goodie hut. I really want that. Well, you can go through it. You can go right through it. Boom! We get a builder, hot diggity, uh, and we can already improve the diamonds. So we've got something to do with our builder already. And then this scout is going to go east. It's a nice pickup for our scout. Scout confirmed better than Pantheons. <laughs> uh, all right, so what do we want now? We already have our builder doing stuff. Um, probably want to go directly into a settler. There's a small argument for monument since we didn't go Pingala first in case we want to get to a political philosophy like that. Uh, but I think the second settler or the the first settler will be will be valuable. Is 1080p the highest Twitch allows for streaming, or am I limited from something else? Um, I don't know what the highest Twitch allows for streaming. I've I've picked my settings ba based on basically my internet availability. <laughs> I have I have com crap, and uh, they are they are as craptastic as as you would probably think, and uh, I, I I get very close to my bandwidth uh, cap every month. I'd love to make a pyramids play here, but we don't have the uh, we don't have a quarry, so I don't think that's actually viable. So we should be able to get this. Yeah, we have a we have a a a, a calm crap cap. <laughs> it's, it's 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 so bad. We're really slow on the culture. I guess maybe just our science is good. I'm still going to go for the settler, and then we'll worry about the monument. What's the quarry for? For the Mason Eure masonry Eureka, if we wanted to potentially go for pyramids, which we have the option to do right there. But since we don't, I think we probably miss pyramids. It, it is a high demand wonder. No barbs yet in our barb mode, which is a little sad. Uh, we're running the the barb mode, we're running heroes and legends, and we're running secret societies. Four turns on this. Alright, let's see what this is. Ooh. And we can finish our movement all the way over here, thanks to our extra movement. And we have a third scout. I am interested. This is good. This land is less exciting. Where are where what is going on? What is going on with this map here? Love the extra movement here. We started with four movement. And now we have the wheel Eureka. Should I buy this? Cause what are our next tile improvements? I'm not really working this. I could I could build Splore, I suppose. We could build Splore. A little bit more interested in just making sure that we're scouting everything properly. This is a Pangea map, and this is an interesting little bottleneck like this. It's kind of weird. Uh, Durathane, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Can you get the three binds, Eureka? Yeah, but I I think I need this builder to be able to get a uh, the the plantation plantation boost. So I think I'll save the charges and maybe build Splore a second. I don't think we're gonna. I think we have to go this way, which may include taking over a city state or two on the way, just for just for loyalty purposes. Save it and build an iron mine. Yeah, we could certainly have iron somewhere. I hope we do. You come on. Why you got why you gotta be like that? Why you gotta be like that? It's double blocked here. 
We have Vatican City. Again, not a first meet. They want us to train a Spearman. Is this worth... Is this worth exploring? Probably not. Probably not. So here, I want to. I'm a little bit more interested in crossing the river like this, even though we don't get the uh, the woods movement. Like crossing this river seems like what this scout is going to want to do, so that's why I did that. Uh, four movement on this builder. Why is it four? Oh, because we're in friendly territory. That's <laughs> so good. So good. Is the reason I click instead of using hotkeys? Uh, just, just, just. I don't know. Just a habit, I suppose, at this point, mostly. I do use I, I, I use these hotkeys a lot for exploration. And that's where that's where my uh my my, my carpal tunnely hand is at the moment. The wicked king pursued the lovers Juan and Maria well. on his swiftest horse. As he overtook them, Maria flung down her ring. And Not ideal to find that with the builder, hills, but it is what it is. So we find the Chocolate Hills. We have all wonders, all city-states. Um, we did custom pick uh, sieves so that we would have some warmongers to go up against. <laughs> Major baby. It's a thirsty week for you, my friend. Found Beowulf. Yeah, very chocolatey start. Plant more plantations, so we have dyes and cocoa. And olives. So yeah, I'm looking at uh, culture from plantations being a thing. No barbs. What's going on? Where are my barbs at? <laughs> Petra? Petra's a little weird with Vietnam, but we could do it. Oh. Hello. Who is this? Who is this, you guys? Is this Tomris? I think it might be Scythia. Nubia? Oh, it could be Nubia. Am I going to go for religion, or could I preserve the Chocolate Hills? Uh, I don't think I'm going for a religion here. Very awkward scouting thus far, but that's okay. Got a settler coming out. Oh. All right. All right. All right, first Sue's over yonder. Wow, we have so many options for heroes already. Interesting. Hmm. There's our first barbs. Do you have other cities? He does. Interesting. Where'd your other cities go? <sighs> All right, so if he's our first victim, where do we want to settle? His start is hot, hot garbage. Yeah, it is. But I feel like he's going to be the easiest one to fight. I'm tempted to settle the Chocolate Hills or something down here. So that we get the era score for it. We're a little, we're, we're a little light on era score. It's not too bad so far. Uh, but we would like a golden, especially if we're going to attack somebody with swordsmen. What do we think the best settle is? 
I don't hate the idea of a Petra city, but it's a project city, right? It's not one that I really want right away. These are, oh. <laughs> These stone are going to go away, probably. Let him build a couple wonders. That's not a bad idea. And I don't think I'm sending a delegation. Love being able to cross this river. Ooh. Okay. Ross, thank you for the six months. Welcome back in. Thank you for the half a year of support. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Does he have all three of his cities? He does. Hopefully he builds pyramids. That'd be all right. That'd be all right. All right, so we're at 11 era score. Need to get to 25. So a settle on this continent is era score. A settle next to Chocolate Hills somewhere is could be era score. So if we settle here, we get our we get our wheat. It's not great districting at all. It's a nice holy site. That's technically possible. Scholastis is so bad, dude. I haven't gotten a haircut since 2019. Wheat for days. Thank you for the follow. Like, this is an outstanding land for us. We have a great capital and some decent, like, stuff. But it's, 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 really, it's really surrounded by city-states. I might need to take Granada. I mean, Granada has really nice districting right in here, like encampment, and then throw down like a campus, it, you know, and fill out the rest as you like. I think we're taking Granada. <laughs> nice job. Love leveling up your army with a CS before actual war. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> Zond. Can I get a settler and take Granada? I think we'll, we'll okay. Do it. Do we want to take Hattusa? Yeah, I'm thinking that eventually we'll probably take Hattusa as well, assuming we have strategics, right? Assuming we have strategics. Yeah, I can't make it here. All right, so here's another city. I guess this scout is coming back. Looks like this is the end of, like, this is south here. Going to have an encampment in every city. Do I really want to give up all that production from Granada? That's a fair point. Do we have a way to see what kind of barb tribe we have here? Um, if someone can, here, is Patch... So who do we have? What kind of uh, what kind of barb tribe we rocking? Wait, this is the wrong patch notes. That's weird. Uh, if anybody can get me the correct ones, we can we can figure we can determine what kind of uh, tribe that is. I think it's time to bring this builder back. Is that true? We build in, we bring in builders back. They're a coastal ship tribe. They don't look like they would be, but maybe. Here we go. Thank you, zombie. They have a spearman and a ship on their banner. Oh, is does that does is that the giveaway? I didn't think they have enough coastal tiles. I love you, Carl. Uh Yeah, I guess it could be this. Otherwise, they're on woods. I'm bringing builders. This back. is adjacent. Yeah, I mean, I guess it could units work. Don't know how to act. 
Thank you, Chimera. Thank you for getting me. Thank you so much for the 100 bits as well, friend. <laughs> this is away from it. So it's either Woodland or the Seafaring. I could see it being a Seafaring clan. Interesting. Clans are also in Civilpedia. Oh, that's good to know. That's good to know. I mean, we have a really good cap, but the uh, the rest of the land's a little disappointing. All right, code of laws finally. It is not wisdom, but also Let's go ahead and pop into scout XP and God King for our Pantheon. He has nowhere to go. Which is interesting. We'll go after the boosted foreign trade here. I suppose we are going to find out what that tile is. Wrong military card? Oh, whoops. <laughs> Miss click for the second time today. What is going on with me? I'm rusty, you guys. I haven't streamed much yet this year. It's all right. I don't think our scouts are going to get a whole lot of XP, to be honest. So awkward, having a hard time ending our turns in uh in terrain that we would like to. I think this scout needs to clear out this little uh this little area, figure out exactly what we're dealing with. Colt fan, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Maybe this does keep going. Has a society been chosen yet? No, not yet. <laughs> yeah, we can see if he's met anybody. Oh, he has. Okay, maybe the land keeps going. It really did. I didn't think that it would. Got a nice St. Basil city down there. Potentially. It's not really what I want to be doing with this, but. Then we the web of the mystic measure. So like I said, there there was basically there wasn't gonna be any scout XP, so it doesn't matter that I misclicked the card. It's it's really it's no problem. No problem whatsoever. Oh. Oops. I think he got a promotion anyways, so that extra XP would have been uh, when wasted. Yeah. What's up, Bose? How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. For a Dom game, what, what do you look for in a second city? Uh, generally speaking, in a Dom game, I'm looking for two solid cities um, and then a, in a good enough position to take over at least one of my neighbors. Um, so I'm looking for high quality tiles more than anything. Um, a lot of times you can, you can settle cities based on like, oh, I'm going to get a really good holy site here. Let's make sure we get that down, um, et cetera, et cetera. But, uh, mostly with a domination game, I'm looking for positioning and tile quality. Heck yeah, Bose. Thanks for being here, buddy. Um, all right. Well. Oh, that wasn't five words. That was not five words. Uh, five words. What do I look for in a good city? Initial tile quality and positioning. Nailed it. How have you met somebody else? Is this a dumb game? Well, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. All right, now we really have to decide where the city goes. Where's the city go? One, two, three, four, five, six tile, Petra. 
I think it's right here. If we settle this. We could still potentially get Petra stuff going. Even 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 a little bit greedily here. Because we can pick up that. One, two, three, four, five, six. With maybe some districting happening over yonder. Or even back here. <laughs> Thanks, Ryu. <laughs> This is gonna look a little weird, but let's let's play around here for a second and think about some districting. We're we're missing woods. We're missing quite a few woods as far as districting districting goes. Uh, it's been a weird start to the year. Uh, 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 uh Dickin. This game will be going up on YouTube, though, uh, either later today or tomorrow, depending on how the rest of the day goes. But uh, on the dies and then encampment on the border. So how you doing, Under? Good to see you, bud. On the dies, settle here and then encampment on the border. My only reason I don't like that is I won't get the error score for settling this. Encampments can go off woods, yeah. And then, like, this could be Petra. It's like a uh, theater square. It's not the most glorious thing. Oh, you were joking about the dies? Okay. I was like... <laughs> oh, this dies? Yeah. That's, uh, that's maybe a little aggressive. Districts can only go on woods, jungle, and marsh. That's correct. You bring light in. That is correct. It's potential. We have potential to do this. This is not much of a district. Yeah, government plaza is a bit aw awkward. I agree. I agree. All of this districting is actually a little bit awkward. I think this is fine. How can we fuel monumentality on culture game now that nerf goddess is a thing? Uh, early holy sites, quality holy sites. You're going to have to make up for it the old-fashioned way. Kathy, thank you so much for the 11 months. Welcome on back. Thank you, thank you. Can't wait to see TGM. Check out these Barbies. <laughs> thank you so much, Kevy. Welcome on back. Good to have you here. We could look at a city over here. It's got okay districting. But I think I think this is this is acceptable. It's not super exciting. Uh, but what it does do is is let me confidently get a city down here. We can still fit one in there or here. There's there's a decent amount of potential. Decent amount of potential here. We'll just deal with it. All right, now I want my monument. <laughs> So that we can uh, get to political philosophy. I'm looking forward to, we've, we've had some changes to governments uh, in the latest patch. So uh, autocracy and oligarchies policies have flipped. Uh, there's also been a change to monarchy. Um, less converted a, a, a military slot to a wild card, which is quite good. And then we've converted a wild card to a diplo here, which is probably okay. Provided, provided that you're running Merchant Confederation... It's not too bad. Tiger Man! Nice to catch you online. Watch a lot on YT. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And welcome back. Thank you for the six months of support. Much appreciated. Again, sorry that that's been quiet over there, but uh, it'll get loud real soon. I mean, I don't mind the Plains Hill Settle, but it's just even more awkward for districting, no? Any barbarians come city states yet? No, we only found the one camp at the moment. Troll Bell, thanks for the follow. Okay. 
Oh, you have a promotion. I should have given you your promotion. Whoops. How, I wonder, you know what? Well, no, I can't have met Norway. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, does this wrap around? That's interesting. That's interesting. All right, I need to bring this. Uh, I want to get our Eureka. We're going to switch off bronze working, hopefully eventually kill the barbs. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to get the Eureka for ir irrigation. How strong is Vietnam? I think very. I think very. It's my favorite victory type, uh, culture. I, I very much impl enjoy playing culture, specifically appeal-based culture, uh, although that may, that may change now. Hello, Valletta. It's a goofy map. Goofy, goofy map. So one, two, three. These cities don't look terribly hard to take. We took Coupe out of the pool, so I don't think it's Coupe. It's highly unlikely to be Coupe. All right, bring this back. This is this is this is where this is where Under's rolling his eyes because I get to get away with this on uh, on single player. <laughs> uh, let's go let's go towards the uh, Barb camp. Sure. Told you we put the warmongers in the game, so there's Shaka. Here's Shaka. Does AI ever steal stuff? You know what? They stole a builder from me yesterday under. But then but but it was in conjunction with them throwing like four of their warriors at my face, and that was obviously didn't work out for them. Um but I, I I think things like that'll get better and better. Troll doll, thank you for the thank you for the follow. I think I missed that one. Uh, and Pyep Pyek Pyek <laughs> I don't know. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Zombie. I'm a newer player, and culture victory looks complicated. Do I have any video, be, beginner's videos explaining the process as you play? Um, most of my expl explanation just comes from the playthroughs. Unfeasible, if you go to my YouTube um, and check out the most recent uh, Let's Play that's up there, it's culture, uh, and it's pre-monopolies, so there's no monopoly cheese, but it is a uh, sub-150 culture victory with Russia. Um, I think that would be a decent starting point as far as like uh, as far as maybe learning some of the basics. I plan on I, I've planned on for years getting more proper tutorials out there. Hopefully this is the year that it actually happens. Uh, so apologies in the short term and hopefully we can uh, get just some of that in the long term. Let's go. Let's end our turn on the uh, woods. Seems okay. Oh, there's our new continent. Interesting. Why am I not trading diamonds? You know what? It's a great question. I don't know. I should be. Yeah, that's been a real gripe. At the moment, under is the ad blocker situation on Twitch. He's already got him. So that's totally why I wasn't trading him before. Not that I just forgot, right? But I'll take four gold per turn for diamonds. That seems good. Seems good. Okay. Hi, TGM, your vids helped, helped me beat 
King and now I'm off to Emperor. Just wanted to say thanks. Hey, congratulations. That's awesome. And thanks for thanks for spreading that uh that positive message. I appreciate it. Congratulations to you. Yeah, onward and upward. Um I, I've said I've said before, I think that the trickiest part of, of playing deity uh is just being comfortable being behind uh for a good chunk of the game. So there's our three era score for settling chocolate hills. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and buy this farm tile right away. And then we'll start them with a the monument. We'll work the food tile once it's available. Currently working the 2-2. What a weird map. Oh my goodness. This feels more like fractally to me. Super weird. What would it take? Spearman, archer, and then barb camp. Okay, so we know there's a barb camp up there. That's interesting. I'd like to get another suzerain for era score. Here's our uh, irrigation, Eureka. As I mentioned, because we're losing a little bit of loyalty here, we should work this food tile. Cap's going to grow in four. Daddy, uh, Daddy, Danny, thank you so much for the tier two. Welcome back for 16 months, friend. Thank you very, very much for the ongoing support, and thank you for the up-tiered sub. Struggle with district placements and things. Feel like I don't place them quick enough. Um, yeah, that that's honestly, that's like a learned, that, that's one of those like kind of muscle memory things, uh, or at least it becomes that. Chocolate Hills kind of suck in base game? Yeah. They were okay with Earth Goddess. <laughs> they're less okay now. <laughs> but with preserves and stuff, they're not too bad. Oh no, Daddy Danny, that's the worst. Are you serious? Oh, man. All right, so she's up here. I could try being friends with her for a little bit. Bad at finishing games? Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. I guess we're off to the north here, huh? All right, I'm going to finally take this promo. And I'm still taking Alpine. Who am I kidding? Is this a game okay on the Switch to start with? I've, I've heard fine things about the console versions, Con. Um, it's it's going to probably load a little slower, etc. for you. But, uh, you know, it's I, I, I've, I really haven't heard too many complaints about, um, about the Switch version or console versions in general. Seems like they've done a pretty good job with it. But I have not personally played, so that's just hearsay. Van Bradley, I played on the Switch. Hi, Van Bradley. Uh, not quite, not quite as smooth, but runs fine, and you'll have a blast. So it's a great intro, intro level area. Any tips? Um, so ha have you played any Civs before? Also, we should go ahead and put a cut in this video. Uh, an interesting start. We've got some awkward lands, but you know what? We'll make it work. We'll make all this work. We've got a decent capital. Uh, we may need to chop some jungle to get some growth going on. Uh, but in general, we're, we're at least poised to take over our initial neighbor. And we'll see how things go from there. So if you've been watching on the YouTubes, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash thegamemechanic and come join us live in person on the internet. We'll see you then.